Quite possibly one of the most exciting features of OTRS 2.4 is the dashboard. The new management dashboard arised out of the need for a system spanning next to real time and personalized presentation of useful information within the system pertaining to my queues where I'm responsible for working on tickets. So these are all queues using the read write bit for my permissions. Um, there are standard content plugins, which are ticket volume, calendar, ticket overviews for reminder ex escalated new tickets and open tickets, and there will be integration of release update information, integration of external pictures and charts, and integration of RSS feeds. Additional plugins will be available in the future. For example, we're working on Google Maps customer map, which will be presented uh, shortly. Let's look at the different um, personalization options that we have. If you see here, I'm logged in as the super supervisor. Yeah. And as I cycle through my tabs of logged in users, you'll notice that the dashboard changes drastically depending on who I'm logged in as. Here's the dispatch personnel, here's agent one, agent two, for example, and all of them have chosen their own types of personalized settings. For example, if all of a sudden uh, Agent 2 became interested in the 7 day stats that's available, then he would go into settings, click 7 day stats, and then he would get the statistics of uh, created and closed tickets for the last 7 days, as well as anybody else who decided to select this. Here on every search module, for example for the new tickets module I have the ability to filter for locked tickets, so tickets that I own that are locked, as well as all tickets, and these all tickets are based on my read-write permissions within the system. So if I click here on this open ticket, I will see that this ticket is in the uh, 02 Dispatch Team 1 queue, which I have read-write permission on, and uh, even though I'm not the owner, it will be displayed here in the need to be answered open tickets. It's waiting for somebody to take action on it. So if I lock it and go back to my overview, then I will see that the lock tickets has been increased by one. If I had another ticket in this queue, then all tickets would be two. So Talking about the future, here we have Google Maps API, and this API will later use our customer backend in order to find the addresses and names of all users using the address and latitude and longitude information. Then the user will be presented with a interesting representation of uh, the customers that they have and the locations around the world, including a search feature. Here I've clicked search and added Cupertino, California, because I don't, I can't really make sense out of all these little points that are on the map. So if I click here to refresh my search, then you'll see that the map zooms in, and then I can localize my search, and then I can see that I have one customer in Cupertino, and his name's Dummy John Dummy Beasley, and his telephone number and his address. So I hope you guys are really excited about that and we're looking forward to presenting that very soon.